Welcome to Learn Instrumentation Engineering YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to detail discuss about control philosophies in starting and stopping or running a pump or motor. So, in this video, we will detail narrate how control philosophies are available in a pump and motor from the control system perspective it's not about the field uh, or site area we are going to thoroughly narrate how control system is segregated and works for a motor and pump between dcs control room and the electrical feeder so in this youtube channel learn instrumentation engineering we are detailly discussing on basic concepts and fundamentals of instrumentation and control system we also cover latest technological updates which is happening in and around globally on instrumentation and control system engineering. We also cover latest technological news which centers around instrumentation engineering. So if you are a budding instrumentation engineering student or instrumentation working professional or even expert in the field, do subscribe to our channel and I am pretty sure I add more values to your knowledge. So let's get into this video. Okay, uh, this is a, a random uh, DCS graphics page. We are not going to see what is the process flow diagram or what is the main process control system which is involved here. We are now going to talk about this particular benzene pump P9897 alpha. Okay, so from the control room, if at all I wanted to start this particular pump, what should I do? What are the control system requirements are available? See, you could see over here, the motor is in off condition. Okay, so what will happen if you want to start this particular pump or motor so what happens between dcs control room and the electrical system will be detailedly narrated in this video now this is the main faceplate for benzene pump alpha okay this is having start command and stop command currently now it is in stop command this red color indicates the command this green color indicates feedback okay so the left side is command and the right side is feedback so we are given stop command and we have received this stop feedback and this particular pump is in manual mode and all conditions are healthy that is why it is showing in or normal there is no alarm so process variable is 0 manifold variable is 0 because this is in stop condition for any rotary equipment we need some group of uh, control tags to be healthy and we call that as start permissive tags coming to this example we have four important start permissives should be healthy from this example you can see over here esd trip this is a esd trip command and you can see over here it is showing normal and pv is one see this is zero condition and this is one condition so the currently the pv is stating one so currently there is no esd trip so the esd trip is normal so as per the start permissive requirement we need esd to be in healthy condition okay this is one of the start permissive and second is if you want to start this particular pump or motor from control room the selection in local control panel should be in remote if the particular local control panel of this pump is selected in local we cannot do start command from DCS we can start only from the field or site only so as per the start permissive requirement we are having remote healthy so the system is in remote and the third important uh, control tag is electrical availability see if you want to give start command it should have electrical power supply to drive the particular pump so as per the current status it is showing pv equal to 1 that is electrical power supply is available so we can drive the system through electrical power supply so we would call this as availability and the fourth important requirement for start permissive is the stop feedback okay so from the dcs it should be in stop command and stop feedback should be available so these are all the basic start permissive if any one of this particular control tag is not healthy for example if there is no availability then we cannot go start command to the particular pump or motor from the control room so we have to ensure all the start permissives are healthy we are having electrical mcc panel motor control circuit panels okay 
and we have our DCS or ESD system okay now there are some set of uh, control supply signals that would be interfacing between DCS and e uh, electrical MCC panel so what are those signals local remote signal availability signal run feedback signal start command stop command ESD trip command so these are all the six control supply tags in some of the control system requirement we might have some additional control supply tags in current example I have taken only six number of control supply tags this local remote availability run feedback this particular status are coming from electrical feeder to DCS as a digital input signal similarly the start command stop command ESD trip these are all going from DCS or ESD to electrical MCC panel as digital output so these signals are interfered between electrical and DCS in this DA and DO segregation okay this is an important understanding that an engineer should be knowing before giving a start command from the control room now as per our example start permissive is healthy okay now I am going to give start command okay so when I give start command coming to this particular example what happens over here is this green color indication will be shifted to the start command area and this feedback it will be waiting for the feedback from electrical panel so once I give the start command what happens in control system is the start command will go to the MCC panel you can see in the left side already it is going from DCS as a digital code MCC then DCS will wait for two seconds some of the control system requirements might be having only one second I have taken two seconds as a minimal requirement in our example so once I will give start command it gets to the MCC panel and will wait for two seconds and once physically the motor started then it will give us a run feedback to us and that will reach to DCS okay so we can conclude that my start command has reached MCC panel and physically the motor started and we received run feedback signal also so this is what happening when we go start command okay now what happens when I will give a stop command again the stop command will go to MCC panel as a digital output then immediately we will get stop feedback from MCC panel the physically the pump will stop and again the run feedback will go to off condition and that will be reflected as a stop feedback so this is what happening in start and stop condition now the important thing over here is what happens when your pump is running and an ESD trip becomes unhealthy so currently the particular uh, motor is in running condition for example if this is a face plate now this particular face plate is in a running condition so currently pump is in run feedback now there are now if there is any process upset okay so the process upset may be anything like uh, that might be a suction pressure low low or any vessel level uh, uh, low low or any temperature high high whatever may be the process requirement if there is any process upset happens then ESD will get activated or if there is any electrical uh, fault any electrical abnormality or electrical fault that may include like uh, earth fault or uh, overload undercurrent etc anything okay or if there is any fire and gas sensing alarm or if there is any confirmed fire confirmed gas any of these conditions we will get ESD trip command so now what happens this ESD uh, trip command will initiate a trip so this particular phase speed will drop from normal to this trip command so immediately we will get ESD unhealthy 
the start permissive will become unhealthy so automatically a dcs stop will get generated okay so immediately the stop command will go and will use the uh, stop feedback so this is the scenario while pump is in running condition unless this process upset becomes healthy or electrical fault become healthy or the fire and gas systems become healthy this ESD trip will be always active so we have to normalize or make the process or electrical or FNG system to be healthy and then once we will do a reset from the uh, CCR or electrical panel immediately this ESD trip will become healthy so this is what happens during a pump running condition so in today's video we have seen uh, about a pump or motor uh, control philosophies so what are the basic signals available what are the start permissive signals what are the what happens when we go start command and what happens when we go stop command and what happens when an ESD signal initiates during a pump running condition so if this video was very useful to you please hit the like button and share to the instrumentation community if you want to watch such instrumentation video, do subscribe to our channel, Learn Instrumentation Engineering YouTube channel. Thank you.